Today I want to try and do a homicide with my rocket, but I'm going to have to find someone to hit first. I also screwed up my goal. I was supposed to go 450 to 500 meters. But let's work on stunt rocket. He challenged me to create a stunt rocket that loops once. Now, because I'm obviously wildly intelligent, I have an idea of how I can do that. I'm going to take some toilet paper rolls, put a little cone on the front, and then put a booster on one side, and then just put a booster on the other side but point it the other direction. That's gotta do a loop. If that doesn't do a loop, nothing will. Ready and go. Oh, it needs to get off the ground before it's going to do a full loop. So I'm going to add another thruster to one side, just a little one to hopefully tip the scale the right direction. And then it's obviously going to lean a little bit upon launch. Or just fall over entirely. But I'm on the right track. I decided to try adding a block to the bottom just to give it a more even launch that will hopefully get it off the ground. Oh, did that count as a loop? That didn't, but we're getting closer. The other challenge I have right now that shouldn't be too bad is to make a rocket out of a bike, including frame, handlebar, saddle. And I think it actually pretty much built it for me. All I need to do is launch this bike 20 meters into the air. That's going to be stupidly easy. We just put a bit of a booster maybe right there and then a bit of a booster on the other side. And our complexity is almost done, so we're going to put just one more little booster in the center to kind of even it out. Maybe even a few of those. That's probably going to make it at least to space. 20 meters should be easy at this point. There's never been a more perfect rocket ever. And we're even in the desert because it's going to be super dangerous. Ready? Go. Come on, 20 meters. We got 12. So depending on where we move this, you can see the arrow on the right kind of tells me the proper trajectory of where it's going to go. So I think it might just be a little bit of a balancing issue. Or I just need more complexity pieces that are going to give me just enough room for more rockets. Whatever the case, let's try that again. Oh, that was 16 meters. That actually made it a lot closer. Do these adjust anything? They do make a difference. Okay. I wish this thing was more zoomed in. But I think maybe right there is good enough for me if it's good enough for you. Get into space, Spike. Is it going to make it? Oh, it leans before it takes off. 18 meters. We're so close. Okay, I didn't realize it leans so hard before. So if I launch it quicker, I think it's going to get that extra two meters. Oh, it's going to go that way. We hit 19 meters on this one. We're so close. I've decided to try moving the rockets a little bit higher. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference, but my brain tells me it is. 17 meters on the first try isn't bad. We had 19 meters on the last launch. I love how it launches a different direction every time I touch it. So what about if I add a fin to either side? Is that going to help it go upwards? How is the flight looking? Yeah, we... It's probably the seat that's throwing it off because there's a lot of uh, air going against that. So we'll, we'll do something you never ever want to see on a bike seat. But that might help launch it. Oh right, I'm not allowed to use non-bike parts for some reason. But there's nothing saying we can't just stack the bike parts in weird places. We don't have to launch the whole physical bike. Because it's more compact, it, it might be more aerodynamic or it might hit us. Hmm. So I've turned the handlebars around to hopefully give it some support so that way it can actually go upwards. And then I'm going to put the other boosters back on. Now, hopefully, yeah, there we go. It's going to stay upright on launch. And then it's going to launch straight up in the air. All the way up to 20 meters. All the way up to 15. I've been tinkering with things. I think I'm getting closer. I put the wheels up top because they're just a, probably a little bit more aerodynamic. Then I'm starting to balance the weight a little better. And there's 20 meters. We did it. And we don't need to talk about how long that took, but I did get several rare tags. That's the full bike mega boost challenge, which is obviously going to get me quite a bit of views. Never mind. You'd think that would be more exciting, but that's fine. Now, this next design may look a little stupid because it is, but it has a purpose. I need something to fall to the left on launch. That way it hits the outhouse over there. This one missed by a little bit, so we need a little more weight. Then again, we don't really. If we have a pretty good idea uh, where we need to go, we can probably just send the rocket pretty much straight there. Let's give it a slight bit of lift to the left. And yes, I could make a fancy tipping rocket, but why would I? When I can pretty much just point and shoot. <laughs> okay, never mind. That doesn't work either. I think all I needed was a cool fin to help stabilize it. I also adjusted the tilt of the rocket just slightly, so we'll hopefully get off the ground better. Ah, yeah, oh. oh. It hit it though, so I think we need to hit it a little higher to hit above its center of gravity. And then we probably just need a second rocket to hit it harder. When in doubt, add more horsepower. Never fails. Launch. And our thing just exploded. So let's adjust that angle just a little bit because we're close. I think we just hit it too high. And we might need a little more weight. We're obviously hitting it, but we're not hitting hard. There it goes. Never mind. The weight was perfect. We just need to hit it just right. So this video is going to be called the Skeleton Trash Crafter 
double barrel. I do not know how to make videos, but I did make a few dollars. This one's also really easy. Basically, I get four complexity parts for using a fuel bottle, two scrap engines, and a splitter. So then we just need to use a fuel splitter so we can go like that and like that, and then one thing is powering two engines. Now I just hope this thing can reach 20 meters because the engines that are fed by fuel aren't always particularly powerful. But we have something that's mostly aerodynamic, uh, in my opinion, which doesn't count for much of anything. Come on, 20 meters, 16. And it blew up. Since you didn't have enough power, there's nothing saying I can't use another one of these right now. I can attach another engine with fuel all by itself. And I just have enough complexity points to make this work. It's going to be a very long rocket, but it's going to have the fuel and power, I think, to get it up to where it needs to go. Hopefully. Uh, it's tilting a little bit, but we definitely made it go 40 meters. That's probably very expensive to watch blow up in the distance. So, I don't know what race on is, connector, and symmetric. Which got me a few more dollars again. More money for more upgrades. Plus, I got a new junk engine. Which is three times as strong as the other engine, but it's also way heavier at 30 kilos. And I do have a pretty easy challenge. If I make a rocket go between 450 and 500 meters, I get six complexity points. So, I feel like it's basically build a rocket put some boosters on and adjust the boosters until it goes the right height. So we'll just go like that and then we launch. We're looking for 450 to 500 meters. This one's going to go 300 so far. There's 400. It's actually pretty close as it is. So I'll just add a few smaller boosters on. One more medium booster on there just below the other one. Hopefully this puts it into the right zone. I can also launch it sideways if need be. There's 445. We're so close. I just adjusted the angle of the lower rocket a little bit. That'll hopefully keep it a little straighter because the rocket tends to go to one side or the other pretty hard. But I've got a good feeling about that. Okay, I tried to be clever with that. I'm just going to add one itty bitty booster. That's going to give me the six extra meters I need. At least I think it is. There's only one way to know for sure. The rockets all turn so hard. I should work better keeping them straight. There's 444 again. Okay, I see the problem. It needs one of these wings somewhere on it to help, you know, do wing stuff. That's keeping it much straighter already. That might be too far. Because if we go over 500, it doesn't count either. But we'll see. It's turning now. Okay, we actually went less far this time. So I'm going to add another medium-sized booster. Maybe that's going to give it the coaxing it needs to get just that little bit higher. One way to find out. I guess we can be zooming in on it too if we want to see it in flight. To see exactly what it's doing up there. Turns out it's flying. There's 457. That's perfect. And we'll watch it hit the ground. Because it's going to have a very pleasant landing. As most of my rockets do. Or it's going to land in Akai's yard. I'm just launching stuff into space so I can make more money to launch bigger stuff into space. There was a noob combo. I didn't get any views at all. But that's got to be worth like $4. $2. So we need to put a trash rocket into a dumpster now. We get six complexity points. We're up to 86 though. And I don't mind using the trash parts. It's kind of fun really. But I also have no idea what this level looks like. So we're just going to go like that. And then we're going to put a booster on and uh, see exactly what it is we have to work with. I'm going to hope that just works somehow. But I do need more trash. It wants different trash parts. So we're also going to add one of those to the base. And then we're going to put it, I don't know, like that so it tips. And it still doesn't like that. So I guess we're going to also add a hockey stick to it just for fun. Because I need to see which direction we're going with this anyway. Oh, it's not a hockey stick. It's a vacuum cleaner. And it's to the right this time. But I kind of think I can work with this in a strange way. So the base of this is simply going to be a soccer ball. Because that's going to be easy to add parts to. And give it a nice sturdy base. We're going to fly roughly in that direction. Uh, we're going to have a tin can and a toilet paper roll involved. They can go wherever because we're basically going to shoot this into a dumpster anyways. And we're going to use big boy rockets because we're big boys. And they're going to go probably like that. And we're ready. And that's a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it tipped a little bit more than I thought it would to start. I was expecting the soccer ball to be as deflated as it looked. Because that's a pretty flat bottom. I do have a fix for that though. Under toys, we have blocks that I use simply for stabilizing things when I need to. So, perfect. See? No problem. Get in the dumpster. <laughs> that actually jumped right into the dumpster. Perfect. And we have an epic take. So we're going to get dumpster dive, football, dumpster. This was a better one. 73,000 views. That's going to be worth a few dollars for sure. Plus look at all those subs. That was worth, wow, much money. So for uh, eight complexity points, I can launch a rocket 900 to 1000. I feel like that's not actually going to be that hard considering how many rockets I have currently. We just put two on, make sure they're pointed fairly straight. Then I actually just got a new nose, which is slightly lighter. Then I do want to add a few fins to make sure it's going to fly nice and straight. So we go like that, we flip it the other way and it disappears on me for a second and 
and okay it doesn't like that spot very much i don't actually know if those two are going to do anything it's going to fly fairly straight and we don't really know ever until we try anyways i'd put a penguin on this and launch it so are we going to go what was it 900 to a thousand or something i don't think this is quite going to do it but it's going to let us know if we're close or not. 600 meters. So we're going to need some adjustments, clearly. So apparently this is going to fly very straight right about there. And we have the room for three of these big boosters now. So is that going to bring us up high enough? I know we hit that level before. I just can't remember what the rocket looked like when we did it. It didn't look like this. But let's see where that's going to go. Two of those brought us to about 600. Three of them should bring us... 600 700 we need that to go straighter so let's also make it a little smaller and therefore lighter but we can also add a fin at this point i'm maybe going to add a fin on both sides to hopefully keep it extra straight then um that should be it if not i'm just going to go back and watch how i did the thousand meters before and make it just a little less but this one's going pretty good there's 700 800 i think it's going to fall short but not by a lot 860 we're very close this one went 880 it was flying so straight all the way up we're very very close so i'm kind of wondering if we even need this tail section piece that's going to free up just a little bit of room but not enough for a new booster anyways okay i just went back to look at how i hit a thousand before and it's like this you take one of these really big boosters put some wings on it so it flies straight and then some kind of nose cone for aerodynamic purposes and it doesn't necessarily look like much but that's just basically all power there's not a lot of weight but a a ton of power so we'll see how high that goes hopefully it settles between 900 and a thousand but it might blow through that and it did not by a ton though we basically need a little more weight or less aerodynamics so instead of a nose cone what about a block do you think that's going to knock it down 500 meters it actually might either way we're sending a cube to space and i'm very excited about that so we'll watch our cubey idiot go oh we can zoom in here too look at it go uh, so far that's better, but mm, we need something in between. So I propose a halfway tilted cube. That might actually work. It might also tip the rocket the wrong direction so we lose lift anyways. Yes, that actually made it worse. Okay, what about nothing on the top? We'll just let it go. And we're picking up speed too fast. I can already tell we're going to go through it. There's 900, there's a thousand. Oh, actually that worked perfectly. It stalled at 980. So the trick was not to do anything at all. And I'm up to 100 complexity for my rockets. Next, let's try the firework one. Ignite a heavy firework above 100 but below 120. And it's actually pretty heavy. I'm going to use that as something of a nose cone. Dan, I'm assuming like a few of these boosters is going to be enough because we don't have to go very high. We'll see where that gets us. It looks very professional. So 100 to 120 and we need an explosion. We're going to need more juice than that. But it looks pretty. I feel like a big booster like this is going to be too much. But we don't know until we try. I did think the last ones were going to be enough. And this one is considerably bigger. Uh, that's not as far out as you might think. But we did go too high. If we actually tilt it over far enough, that would work. It would go up and go horizontal at about 100, 120 and explode at the right spot. It's going to be a little bit hard. No, well, that was actually close, but we broke 120. I mean, no one would ever probably build a rocket like this. But when you dream, you dream big. Is it going to curve before 120? Nope, we're still going way too high. So I've moved that rocket basically so far that it should technically be floating. I've also shifted this thing way to the right to give it a little more, you know, curvature to the right. Because I'm now committed to this very stupid idea. Watch the elevation. Uh, it actually exploded at about 119, but overall we still go too high. So we'll just add some weight somewhere. That'll probably even things out. This might sound stupid, but we're actually getting very close to making this thing work somehow. Because when I launch, it goes up at a very nice angle very quickly. The firework explodes there, but we go 11 meters too high. We just need to cut a little bit off the top. So I've done what any rocket engineer we did and added a third block. That's going to take us... Oh, it did it. It exploded at the right height and didn't go higher than it needed to. That was actually perfect. That was the worst rocket I've ever built, but it achieved its goal perfectly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make something way harder than it has to be. This is when I like reach 100 meters within 3 seconds and ignite a firework above that. I mean, I've got a pretty good idea how that's going to work. We just take one, maybe two of these massive boosters. I know they don't like to connect. And I didn't really clarify what kind of firework I need to use, so I'm just going to put like a cherry bomb there. That's going to detonate after 3 seconds. I need to be over 100 meters within 3 seconds anyways. And I forgot to put the nose cone on this, but you know, 100 meters is there. The firework will detonate. Did it not detonate? 
it was supposed to go above 100 meters. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it means literally the firework and not a cherry bomb. That's fine too. You can go there and I need to put a nose cone on this anyways. I'm going to put on one of these guys because it's light and large. There we are. Straight to the moon with this one. There's 100 meters, so that should be good. There's a firework at 400 meters. And I don't know how the rocket's going to go. It doesn't really matter that much. We can zoom in. There's 1.1 kilometers. I also got an illegal firework, which is basically the same challenge. Reach 100 meters within 3 seconds and detonate the firework above that. I mean, I'll never say no to blowing something up. It does weigh 2.3 kilograms, which is... Wow, that thing is huge. How do I get that up that high? Think? I might need more rockets. Okay, so because the rocket is so big, it needs to have some structure on it. So I needed to add that structure. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. So we're going to try something like this for now. We still have some complexity we can use. But this thing's so heavy that I don't really know how I'm going to get it up that quickly. But we'll see what this does. Uh, That could do it if we could fly it straight. Yeah, it went over 100. Is it going to explode at some point? I think I might have... Yeah, there it is. We did it first try. And we got a naughty combo. 20,000 views. I didn't see the money on that. Next is the bike totem. A three meter long rocket made only out of bike parts. I mean, I don't see why not. All I gotta do is attach a bunch of rockets to something long and straight. Okay, three meters is obviously a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but that's fine. We can still get this into space. And all we need to do is get that 100 meters up. Launching it is going to be the trick. So I'm kind of tempted just to see what that does. I think there's going to be so much leverage at the top, it's going to make it fall over. But you never really know until you try. This is definitely going to be our biggest rocket yet, because look at it. And it actually holds itself upwards. Not sure how it's going to fly. Well, that's actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But maybe if I do something clever like that, it's probably not going to help at all. Because either way, there's just going to be a lot of force somewhere. And it turns out if I have these rockets on the bottom, I don't need my upper layer of a uh, prong. I think what I really need is just more booster. More booster is always the answer to every problem ever. Um, yeah, that's good enough. So our power to weight ratio is much better than it was last time. I like how we found the most uneven hill to launch it off of, but I believe. Uh, it turned pretty hard one way. 99 meters, we were one shy. It's not my fault we launched on the hill. That's because we have this extra weight on the left. Let's offset that just a touch. Maybe that actually didn't help the way I think it did. I, s yeah, but there's 100 meters anyway. So it actually did help. And we broke our garbage. Family, bicycle, power boost, sprint. For launching a bike way up high, actually pretty good. There's 30,000 views. That's going to be worth a few dollars. And some lady in the internet gave me wood as a material. Very original. Launch a rocket with two times planks. These are a lot bigger again than I thought. We'll even that out just a little bit. So there's one plank. There's two planks. I don't really even have to do anything. I just have to launch these. So we'll use my favorite boosters ever. We'll even throw one down the middle and we're going to launch this lady's planks. Actually, we probably have enough room for four of them now. We do. But this top is not aerodynamic at all, so that's going to help. How's it looking? Beautiful. It's kind of like a birdhouse with lots of rockets on it. That looks really stupid. Off it goes. And how high are we going to get? We got over 100 meters on it. <laughs> You don't want to see that flying over your house ever. Also forgot to install the landing gear. Perfectly symmetrical progress planking mega boost. Well, 8,500 views is still 8,500 views. That gets me a step closer to my ultimate goal of being rich on rockets. But now that I can attach so many of these boosters, how do we do it? Maybe something like this? That way they don't have too much uh, bad air going on. Maybe just one more of those somewhere here. We still have room to spare. That's awesome. This thing's going to be so stupid. So then what if we go like that? How's the flight looking? Where did there's so much down air on this one, but not that one? So any way to... Oh, we can do it in real time. Okay, so what if we take one of those though, and um, we take you, duplicate you, and put one of you up here? That's not better. Well, it could be better. It could be worse. I don't know. Let's launch that. If this thing doesn't go a thousand meters, I'm going to be very disappointed. That's made of raw power. Ready and go. Well, it went somewhere in a hurry. Not very straight, though. Uh, It's pretty good, but it's not focused enough for my liking. But because I uploaded that video with some stupid tags, I got 55,000 views. We reached gold. And I probably made a little bit of money on that, which is great. 
$179. My best design so far has basically been this, so if I just make this a little longer with more boosters, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. There we go. Uh, how is the flight looking? It's not bad. We built it a little bit lopsided. Uh, at points, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can actually fix that. Let's just move that up a little bit. There's no more flight problems. We move uh, this one just a little bit, and then there's no more flight problems there. Then we move the roof, and well, we got a little bit of problems up top, but at least they're evenly distributed for once. And since we have enough uh, parts left over, we can actually add some more fins to keep it a little bit straighter. We really need this thing going in a straight line. That takes up 116 out of my 117 uh, complexity parts. It's literally a rocket made out of thrusters, <laughs> and it just falls over. Go. And it's off. Okay, I might have made it a little bit top heavy, but if I launch it, oh, the game doesn't like that one bit. There it goes. Oh no, it blew apart right away. All right, well, it's still going somewhere. Not entirely sure what how It is disintegrated. I think it's too long and not strong enough to hold itself together. The thrust literally tears itself in half. Because uh, we're missing, yeah, there's one, two, yeah, it tore itself completely in half. But that video somehow made me lots of money and views. That means I can buy what's called the big booster for $190. That's pretty much all of it. And it definitely is big. It takes up 41 spots all by itself, whereas that one takes considerably less. And it's nice that it's just one simple piece. So I'm wondering if I can go something, I don't know, like that. Is that going to work? It actually looks pretty neat and tidy for once. So this is one single booster. Off we go. We're going to zoom in on that. One booster is going, yeah, well, there's a thousand already. There's 1500 meters already. There's two kilometers, two and a half kilometers. This booster is crazy. This somehow is the ultimate rocket so far. There's 3.5 kilometers into the sky. So at about two of those rockets in a row, is that gonna be even better? Sometimes it just makes things worse. And looking at it, I see a potential weak spot, but we're gonna pretend I didn't notice that and launch it before it tips over. And we're gonna go ahead and zoom in on it if we can. And it's already leaning one direction pretty hard. Uh, okay, and I think we lost half of it. Not sure where the other half went, but this half's going strong. To be fair, some rockets do that. It's like the second stage or whatever they call it. This is just an accidental second stage. But I'm happy with my results.